Okay, here is Mona Cohen, and I first looked at it from a linear chart, and there's no way I can work with this, obviously. So I lo put it into a logarithmic chart, and I think it's more manageable this way. So I don't know what the hell happened here, I th whether the price actually went this way, or whether this is a charting error, I don't know. That is really weird. But I'm going to start here. It crashed down. So A, B, and C. Can I call this a C? No, I can't. It's not a lower low. So I, I don't know what happened. I'm going to say, let's say some five crash to a correction. I'm just going to start here then. So I see one, two, three, four, five, A, B, and C. That works. And for all the new uh, viewers, I am in Europe. It is almost 11.20 or so my time. I'm traveling and I'm going to, I usually give a very good, good and detailed introduction to Elliott Waves, but in this video, I just won't, don't have the time. I need to get through this quickly and hit the sack. So here then, Elliott Waves states that after five waves, you get a three wave retracement. So we have a, B, C, just like that. And it's important to note that C is not equal to or lower than the beginning of wave one. And that is the retracement. It was a very deep retracement. And the fifth wave in this case was long, but not that extended. Okay, but still, it was, this was this is a very deep retracement. And then after an ABC, what happens? You get another five waves. And the best time to buy is at the terminal end of an ABC. Could have been laddering in right here. But I know so. But anyways, if we count this, we can get something like maybe one, two, three, five. So if this count is correct, then five is in, just like here. What happens after five? You're going to get an ABC retracement. And look what's happening right now. It's in that progress. Was f the fifth wave extended? Not really. So a, B, C will probably look like A, B, C. And I'm bringing it down to this level of 0.35. Remember, this is logarithmic, so it's really painful to bring... Uh, okay, hold on. Sorry, I take all this back. I forgot it was logarithmic. Sorry. This is the A, B, C, like so. So it's going through an A, B, C correction. It could be deeper. I don't know whether in the logarithmic it actually would go to the zone of wave 4, prior wave 4. I'm not sure it could, considering how deep this retracement was. It went into the zone of wave 2. So um, I, I don't know exactly how to say this, how far the retracement might go. But let's take a look at a higher resolution. Okay, so this is... Yeah, I don't think this is done, but it could be a morphing into a triangle, so A, B, C, D, E. 
maybe it's morphing into a rounding bottom. Not that. Could be something like that. I don't know what exact formation it'll take, but I do know once wave five is in, A, B, C will probably be, so this is probably A, B, C, A, B, and then there will be one more down, I'm pretty sure. But I may be wrong. It might already have taken this as an A, B, C, but that's hard to fathom because when you have one, two, three, four, five, this is a very small correction. I think it'll come down more in the range of, let's say down to two, two-ish. Okay. At least to that effect. Now let, let me linearize this again. Yeah, so it it will be a deep retrace. So in a linear format, I can see this coming down to maybe a dollar four. Okay, so I'll just leave it in a linear format now. I mean the fifth wave is so extended here, it's not even funny. So you're going to get a very, very deep retrace on a linear format if you're looking at it. So if you haven't sold here, you might want to consider taking your um, profits of what remains up here on the B wave up. And go to the sidelines, watch the C wave. If we take this on a sub daily, Now on sub daily, it could. A, B. Yeah, so this is one, two, three, four, five, but like an ending, like a diagonal pointing triangle. But one, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, A, B, C. Yeah. I don't think the correction is done, but it could be. There is a potential for it. There is a potential for it, you can call it like this. Okay. And um, so what would be important here is to look at your support lines. So it's clearly a triangle forming. And here is uh, A, B, C, D, E. Usually when the E is on the top, this is going to go down one more. Maybe down to dollar thirty-two or even a dollar. I, I would be leaning more towards on the bearish side for this, for one more correction. But it could always surprise. But this is would be my preferred count for now. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll do my best to respond to the comments and questions during the day tomorrow. Or whether this is a charting error, I don't know. That is really weird. But I'm going to start here. It crashed down. So A, B, and C. Can I call this a C? No, I can't. It's not a lower low. So I, I don't know what happened. I'm going to assume, let's say, let's say some five crash to a correction. I'm just going to start here then. So I see one, two, three, four, five, A, B, and C. That works. Uh, 
and for all the new uh, viewers, I am in Europe. It is almost 11.20 or so my time. I'm traveling and I'm going to, I usually give a very good, good and detailed introduction to Elliot Waves, but in this video, I just won't, don't have the time. I need to get through this quickly and hit the sack. So here then, Elliot Waves states that after five waves, you get a three wave retracement. So we have A, B, C like that and it's important to note that C is not equal to or lower than the beginning of wave one and that is the retracement it was a very deep retracement and the fifth wave in this case was long but not that extended okay but still, it was, this, was, this is a very deep retracement. And then after an ABC, what happens? You get another five waves. And the best time to buy is at the terminal end of an ABC. Could have been laddering in right here. But I know so. But anyways, if we count this, you can get something like maybe one, two, three, four, So if this count is correct, then 5 is in, just like here. What happens after 5? You're going to get an ABC retracement. And look what's happening right now. It's in that progress. Was f the fifth wave extended? Not really. So in, in Europe, it is almost 11... 20 or so my time I'm traveling and I'm going to I usually give a very good, good and detailed introduction to Elliot Waves but in this video I just won't, don't have the time I need to get through this quickly and hit the sack so here then Elliot Waves states that after five waves you get a three wave retracement so we have a b c just like that and it's important to note that c is not equal to or lower than the beginning of wave one and that is the retracement it was a very deep retracement and the fifth wave in this case was long but not that extended Okay, but still, it was, this, was, this is a very deep retracement. And then after an ABC, what happens? You get another five waves. And the best time to buy is at the terminal end of an ABC. Could have been laddering in right here. But I know so. But anyways, if we count this, you can get something like maybe one, two, three, five so if this count is correct then five is in just like here what happens after five you're going to get an ABC retracement and look what's happening right now it's in that progress was f the fifth wave extended not really so a, B, C will probably look like A, B, C. And I'm bringing it down to this level of 0.35. Remember, this is logarithmic, so it's really painful to bring... Uh, okay, hold on. Sorry, I take all this back. I forgot it was logarithmic. Sorry. This is the A, B, C, like so.
So it's going through an ABC correction. It could be deeper. I don't know whether in the logarithmic it actually would go to the zone of wave 4, prior wave 4. I'm not sure it could. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. So if this count is correct, then five is in, just like here. What happens after five? You're going to get an ABC retracement. And look what's happening right now. It's in that progress. Was f the fifth wave extended? Not really. So ABC will probably look like A, B, and I bring it down to this level of 0.35. Remember, this is logarithmic, so it's really painful to bring. Uh, okay, hold on. Sorry, I take all this back. I forgot it was logarithmic. <laughs> Sorry. This is the A, B, C, like so. So it's going through an ABC correction. It could be deeper. I don't know whether in the logarithmic it actually would go to the zone of wave 4, prior wave 4. I'm not sure it could, considering how deep this retracement was. It went into the zone of wave 2. So I'm, I, I don't know exactly how to say this, how far the retracement might go. But let's take a look at a higher resolution. So this is yeah. I don't think this is done, but it could be a morphing into a triangle. So A B C D E. Maybe it's morphing into a rounding bottom. Not that. Could be something like that. I don't know what exact formation it'll take, but I do know once wave five is in, A B C will probably be, so this is probably A B C A B and then there will be one more down, I'm pretty sure. But I may be wrong. It might already have taken this as an A B C, but that's hard to Adam because 